This fabulous adventure was the result of a frivolous remark I made while taking part in a seminar on the poetry of household objects. Toto asked me why the light went on with just a touch of a switch, and I did not have the courage to think about it twice. Light is like water, I answered. You turn on the tap and out it comes. Our project master, Matthew Springett, is an architect who will be coming all the way from London to work with us. The opportunity to realize a project on this scale while working alongside a group of kids at camp is particularly meaningful to him. From adolescence until he was 21, Matthew went to camp first as a camper and later as a counselor. This also means that he is unafraid to push the limits of what camp people can do. Okay. This project is an installation that allows us to make imagined journeys through a stellar landscape. I have long been inspired and haunted by Gabriel Garcia Marquez's story, Light is Like Water. Two young boys ask for a boat from their parents in return for their good grades, but live in the centre of an arid city. When their parents finally buy them the toy sailboat, they discover a broken light bulb in their home and imagine the light comes flowing out like water and they use the light to sail around their home and beyond. Our proposal draws on the references above and creates a land-based boat that campers will navigate in a world of light. The lost art of navigating by the stars will be explored as we develop our own stellar landscape in which the navigator can chart their journey and interact. We will navigate our dreams. We asked Matthew to develop his proposal, to dig deeper, and to connect the proposal images to the actual plans. Keeping in mind that 80 campers at any given moment might be using this machine to create a spectacle. When Brian introduced Navigating Dreams to us on our first day of camp, he told us that this will be the most ambitious construction project yet to be undertaken by bean campers. Not only will we be building a complex structure in the woods, the structure will have moving parts. This project, in other words, will require a level of precision we've never really had to achieve before.
we really got into the nitty-gritty and the details of all that fine work in various ways. So as that was happening, there were things going on here that needed to be prepared just so everyone could come out and work. The um, concrete foundations and um, up top in the trees to uh, secure the cables. We needed professional tree climbers to get up over 23 feet, some places 28 feet, even to um, put connections in there that would hold the cable. You know, the rhythm of the project is moving toward it becoming less just a puzzle of parts and now sort of more like defined pieces. And when that happens, the campers, of course, connect even more because they're starting to see that it is something as opposed to just uh, a kind of work that doesn't have a visualized end to it. Or maybe a boat or a dream boat or speedboat. But then they're going to be stars and hanging from the cables. These oars will connect to big hands in the middle of the ship. And like, the oars have something to do with turning the... Um, they're wheels that will turn around and eventually connect to a long cable. And the wires are going to hold up constellations. Are going to move up and down. It's going to look really awesome. Have you guys ever seen those kind of movies where you see like flying boats? Yeah, like Peter Pan? Yeah. You mean like the lantern? Yeah. <laughs> no. When people row on the thing, it will spin around the cable, moving the stars. It's going to look really cool. And then we're going to have a lookout station. And um, that it's going to even it's going to look even cooler from there because you're going to have a better view than from the ground. And um, that's what I think it's going to look like. It's going to be really cool. Um, I've got a passion about um, making things and um, a preoccupation with craft and how things go together. That's, that's been something that's gone on for as long as I can remember. Um, and as an architect, uh, part of what I do is, is uh, making things, but a large constituent part of making bigger projects like buildings is the intellectual kind of discipline of, of the design, but it, you don't necessarily get involved in um, the process of actually making your buildings. So in parallel to that, that work of our larger buildings, we um, like to continue this and explore this idea of making and crafting to exercise that, 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 that discipline. Yeah, done now. Almost. Not quite. No, but think about it. Like, everyone in the whole camp is doing this right now. We're going to have, like, 90-something in these, 80-something. I've had, and I think... Uh, so there's a storm last night, and it was it kept most of us up. A lot of lightning, um, but things are good. It's a nice, beautiful day right now, and we have uh, we are. Sh ooh, what are we doing? It really we don't have a lot to do because of the yeah. storm. Like they they couldn't have too many people out here because of the storm. Um. A lot of people are in the yeah. dining hall and putting up the constellations. Yeah. There's still like a lot of work to do, and like the deadline is this evening. But oh, we will probably get it done. Yeah, but well, I, I can't we're not sure. I can't guarantee we'll get the uh, we painting done. We'll, we we'll definitely finish it. Yeah. So.
you everyone. It's been, um, it's, it's really, really emotional being here now. First of all, it's such a privilege to have been able to work with so many amazing people. And that's all of you guys here and the staff. I mean, it's just incredible. And what, what this place stands for is truly inspiring. It really, really is. From my point of view, it's, it's kind of 10 times, 100 times better than I'd kind of initially imagined. Yet at the same time, you've kind of completely realized a vision that was in my head and if that's uh, part of what beam is about it's uh, it's it's an amazing amazing thing and I just thank you very much for thank you, thank you. Thank you.